Hello, trading is closed on December 30th, 2014. I'm Jeffrey Tennant. There were a few signals today from the MJT system. Early in the morning, there was a signal that ultimately higher prices would print. This thick line tells us the target. It printed pretty quickly and there was resistance over it. Later in the day, it said this drop was a false move and that prices would retrace to 2083. 0.97. That hasn't happened yet, so that's the target for tomorrow. It's pretty close to today's close. I think there's a reasonable chance it will print, but let's not forget that if this is a major change in trend, MJT likes to leave a failed target to tease us into thinking the market's going to recover. Well, let's look at the longer term picture. This was the drop I've been stubbornly looking for all week. It finally came. It could still be invalidated if it's reversed quickly and we still need to confirm it by having a close under this low. But in general, I think things are going according to plan. There's a good chance we see a recovery to this line. But after that, I'm looking for us to hit this low at the very least. It's about 19, uh, 1972.56. I think we could go lower than that. In addition to the higher MJT target, there are some other signals from today's trade. We had an island reversal up here. The gap under these lows mean this whole thing does not count. It was a false move. And if you want to see typical retracements, what you have to do is go to the initial gap up. And uh, 61.8 retracement of this move takes us to today's low. And if you take the next high, the retracement takes us to the low price near the end of the day. So we have some Fibonacci support here. We have a higher MJT target, even though it isn't too much higher. We have a likelihood that we retrace to this line. So if today's lows hold, which isn't a given, I think we have a chance for a modest recovery tomorrow. I really don't think that's where the money is going to be made this week of the year between the holidays is a time the market tends to be rallying strongly. When that does not happen, it usually foretells trouble. And absent a strong rally tomorrow, I think that indicator is looking for trouble. It's not the only indicator, which I'll discuss later in the week. And that's today's call.